Welcome to Swamp Bites here at Swamp Shangri-La, rural living in the heart of the South Carolina Low Country. For today's episode, we're going to be talking about proper bandsaw blade placement and orientation for your sawmill. Now you see we have a handy dandy yellow tag here showing proper direction of cut and it also means proper direction of teeth way, blade position. On the actual blade, you can see that we have the teeth matching the cut. So basically we have a circular pattern and it pulls, it's a push and pull routine because you have two pulley wheels in here and it goes right into the cut. Now often when you get a bandsaw blade, sometimes you'll notice that the blade itself, when you put it up, it'll be reversed. And all that is, is because this is a band, during handling or probably when you pulled it out of the stack even, you happen to flip it around the wrong way because these things are kind of springy and under tension and all the like. So what we are going to do here, folks, is we are going to show you a fast little way to make sure that your cutting lay, your teeth positioning, is going in the proper direction. Because I got news for you. If you try to cut with a blade that's going into the back side of it, it ain't going to cut. So we are going to show you how to flip this around real quick and make everything right. Alright, as you can see with the lay pattern of teeth right now, it's being pulled in reverse. So what we want to do is flip this blade around so it's in a usable condition. So what we're going to do is do what I kind of call the tuck and roll on this bad boy. Take the tip of your boot and put it right on there. Now the bandsaw blades are springing. So what you want to do is make sure you got leather gloves on at a minimum. So we're down here like this. So it's just real light pressure on this. You can see how I just use my fingertips. I flip it around. The springs right into place. And now the lay pattern matches your sawmill. And it's in a usable condition to be pulled through the wood. So you went from a blade that was not usable to a blade that is usable. So it's a handy dandy fix for you folks if you get a sawmill and you get a flip flop blade. So we thank you for viewing and we'll see you on the next one.